Hey everybody, welcome to another episode. And actually, no, 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 no. We're gonna we're gonna take that back. Welcome to a new season. How about that? Because <laughs> <laughs> we in season four. We in season four. I'm so excited. I have a lot that is um coming for you guys. Really excited to share everything and you know get y'all feedback get some subscribers and everything so a few new you know people along the way but let me show you my shirt okay so got this one they all say something different which i love so this one says see what they don't know is because you know that's what i say in my intro then it got the <laughs> it got my new logo if y'all haven't seen it and i'm lifting on my shirt but and then it got dbyc at the bottom but i didn't feel like getting up so i didn't um so today for episode one we are talking about the essence of happiness and for you um those of you who don't really know what happiness is prepare to be sick of me because <laughs> i'm about to get into it for real so if this is something that may interest you keep on watching all right bite my tongue never see what they don't know what is they don't know they they're don't tuning know. in the dbyc podcast and i'm just discovering the world around me Kaisha, i love you I feel like god is telling you to keep going you quit on yourself you really down bad tune in wednesdays at seven o'clock eastern time okay so i really want to get into what happiness means to me and what it is um when i think about it so first and foremost happiness is something that no one can give me that is an understanding that i have of it of the whole entire like you know word to be honest i don't expect people to come in my life and make it seem like they owe me something especially when it in regards to friendships or relationships it's it's enough for people to have to worry about themselves and the least you could do is worry about yourself especially when it comes to something that should manifest from within so that's number one number two is that happiness comes from a personal place literally when you start to give yourself the energy that you put out especially if you like a more positive person trying to always like you know help people along the way or even just you know get like sold seeds or like plant seeds that will you know grow into something else try to do that for yourself it'll help big time um also happiness shouldn't be a dependency factor like i was saying with the friends and the relationships and everything it's so it's so bad because of the fact that people have gotten so caught up in like what they see in media that can include tv movie social media it really doesn't matter because it's every it's literally everywhere um when you start depending on those type things it can put you on the path to a dead end for example when you feel like as long as this person is around, I'm happy. That is a setup that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you. You don't know how long anyone is gonna be in your life. You really don't. Whether they decide to leave or they're, you know, um, you know, the other way. I don't y'all catching my drift. But you should aim for creating a space for yourself that you feel safe in that you feel comfortable in that no one can really knock you down from you know uh growing up <laughs> a lot of people used to like to make me get into this space where i get very frustrated very mad very popping off at the mouth type ordeal and it took me years it took me like over you know over two decades to figure out like stop letting people take you out of your element when people see that they can control your emotions they have power over you you don't want to give nobody that type of power that type of influence that type of authority um because they will use it and then all that happiness that you built up 
could be torn down if you haven't um, created like this space that you can go into and not feel like one little thing could tear down. Does that make sense? So what I'm basically saying is create a, a strong bond with yourself. Be your best friend if that if that's what it takes, you know? Um, excuse me. I want to get into the significance of happiness. When you create a relationship with yourself, no one can tear it apart no matter what. Um, it's, it's really so simple. And with you having that space for yourself, you become way more confident. You become way more relaxed and it is it feels so amazing it's like you know you don't even stress as hard as you used to about the small things or about things that don't even matter like i had people in my life that just kept trying me right and you know once you let those situations and those people go everything inside of me just was like oh what a relief like i don't even have to deal with this anymore because now these people aren't allowed to take me out of my element because i don't let them and that makes me happy um being able to create content that makes me happy me being able to do simple things like even clean up sometime i'm not gonna say all the time but when i clean up and i can clear my space out it helps me clear my mind it reduces my overthinking factor i can i can think straight i can see clearly i can problem solve better like that is what makes me happy um also when you're happier it's the things in your life just gravitate and they flow so easily like you won't even believe the things that you'll start attracting in your life because it's like i can't believe i wasn't happier sooner you know what i mean so it's like you're really paying yourself back from all the times that you weren't happy because you start to kind of not forget about the bad times but you start to see that hey if i had a different mindset this wouldn't have even phased me and now that you have gotten to that point you see like a growth factor and really that's what life's about it's about you know reflection and looking back and saying hey i was here but now i'm here i'm elevating i'm vibrating on a whole nother scale and now things are coming to me that i actually like have you ever noticed that when you're so mad and you're so miserable that all these bad things start happening and it, and it keeps saying like, oh my god i cannot win for losing and i can't do this every time this happened this happened that's because you're you're sending out the wrong the wrong energy you're sending out all of this negativity instead of being like you can't win for losing say all i'm doing is winning every time you wake up you winning every time you get an opportunity to do something that you love you're winning but you know that's 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 really the significance of it um oh yeah i forgot about this people start to look up to you people start to yeah that's kind of the gravitational part when they are inspired by you they see that you have something that a lot of people especially nowadays are lacking they don't know how to be happy they don't know how to be happy with themselves because they're not really content they don't take enough time to figure out what truly makes them happy because they're always worried about the next person and that will that can be a downfall so before you start worrying about other people worry about yourself like seriously like why not create that space for yourself why not care about yourself as much as you care about other people show yourself that same kindness and that same happiness and that same bubbly energy you know what i mean like you don't you don't have to fake it with yourself you can literally be yourself around yourself and do what you have to do to feel good <laughs> y'all we only get one life bro like that's the thing especially in this shell like you may come back but it won't be the same story it won't be the same situation is it's going to be different so while you're here in this form take advantage of it you know like i just don't want y'all to have to regret or miss opportunities because you can't like fulfill your your emotions and understand that it's okay not to not to feel bad for yourself you know like be happy like that's 
probably one of the easiest things when you can just let go and be yourself and enjoy life to the fullest Ugh, the bliss oh my gosh lastly from that section um what you are in one place in your life intertwines with other parts of your life that is true when you start uh feeling happy you start moving differently so like for me I, when i'm happy I, i'm way more organized and way more motivated um i like to move more i like to get into creative projects more because i feel like i'm in a good space because i'm doing things that make me happy for example my podcast i love doing photography i love doing interviews i love doing little tutorials now like i love doing that stuff because it's just like what if somebody sees this you know what i'm saying like i'm living in the what if factor and i'm just like well just in case let me store this you know to the side um <laughs> okay so we are going to get into why people are not being fulfilled and why they're not happy so what i really want to say is this is for the people who either have a lot in life or have privilege in life or um they are seen as above average in life um those go for the people that are attractive the people who have like nicer bodies people who have money people who have like they influence very easy right so some of you people that have these privileges y'all lack substance very badly y'all have no personality a lot of the time you use your face card and think that that's the only payment that is needed and it's not um you may get you know full people up front and they look at you and just expect you to be like oh i'm so lucky and i know it's hard um for people to look at you like that but you have to you have to start doing more and I say that because your body can change, your face can change, your money status can change, your, your uh, socioeconomic status can change at any time. But you know, the most important thing is your heart and it's, your, it's the way that you think, it's the way that you see the world. And <laughs> a lot of y'all don't have it because y'all so dependent on the things that don't matter. Um, pretending to be someone that you can't maintain. You don't have to pretend to be happy. Just be happy, you know what I mean? You take the time out to create a space because it's important. And if anything else like gets in the way of that, you need to reevaluate your priorities because you need to come first in a lot of these situations because it's, it, the, the work, it starts from within and it starts with you. And you cannot you can't build nobody else up if you empty you know what i mean you hollow as i don't know what how do you expect to fill anybody that's ridiculous that's ridiculous um and for my people who are scared to take that risk to be themselves because they're scared that nobody's going to accept them when you start act like stepping in your purpose and stepping in your faith of who you are your truth the people that are meant to be there are going to be there regardless because they will gravitate towards you. That is the law of attraction, my people. That's the law of attraction. They're going to come. They have to. It doesn't work any other way in my eyes. Um, what are the consequences if you aren't happy and you know you continue to fabricate the truth? You could lose people. A lot of people don't want to be around that because it's draining. It's very hard to keep on keeping on you know what I mean so every time you come around people you're sad and you're depressed and stuff it's not that we don't love you it's that it's it's so often that we no longer know what to do for you we done tried everything so it's like yeah we want to see you happy but we can't do that for you you have to do it for yourself you can lose yourself guys you can lose yourself and you so far gone that you don't even know where to start but when I tell you, you can't eat a whole elephant in a day. Take time. Take little steps. Do different things. Go live your life. Go meet new people. Go go travel. Go do whatever you got to do in order to try to find a spark. Try to find something that can truly bring you joy and make you want to live every day like it's your last for real. 
Also, the last consequences, um, the last consequence that I figured was that you get stuck in a cycle that is really hard to get out of. Like I say, that really intertwines with the losing yourself. Don't let it get that far. If you see yourself becoming bored or becoming dull, baby, go get you a new light bulb. Go sharpen yourself. Go try something that you never tried before. Or go rekindle an old hobby. Like, get into something. Do something with yourself. Like, we are too young to just not do anything. And I've and I, and I been in places when I was sad. And I couldn't. And I didn't want to get out of bed. I didn't want to be around people. I didn't, but I said, I, 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 I got to look at the bigger picture. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't continue to keep being this way and expecting a different outcome. The What you put in is what you get out. Period. <laughs> I love when I do that. But yeah. Uh, anyways, in conclusion, uh, when are you going to start caring about yourself like you care about other people? This is the most serious time in your life. Every day that you get the opportunity to reevaluate and look at your situation, like, take advantage of it, man. Like, I want, bro, I just, for all, everybody that follow me and that support me, and even if you haven't found me or discovered me yet, I want y'all to be happy. We have so many things that keeps us in a depressive mood where whether it's, oh, you, you having trouble with or without kids or you living home with your mama, you living with a roommate or you can't afford to live by yourself or you can't afford this new car, you can't get the equipment that you need. Start moving different, my babies. Like, you, you have too many opportunities. And lastly, I just want to say time is precious. So use it while you're here use it use your influence use all of that because you you can't get time back you can't <laughs> so you know that's all i have to say for real it was a pleasure being able to start a new season with you guys and i'm so excited for what's to come oh my gosh so that's all i have today I'm Taisha and I promise I won't bite my tongue. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye.